Good morning. First, let me take a moment to welcome each one of you to National Sign Day. Uh, this day is one that we anticipate all year long. It takes a lot to get to this day. It takes a host of teachers, four of class student athletes, to ensure that they are eligible to participate. It takes a collective of teammates in supporting each other's work on the field. It takes a plethora of coaches to develop talent and skill. And most important, most important, it takes our parents who lend them to us to help develop them. So let's uh, give our parents a big, big round of applause, please. Thank you all. We, we have the pleasure of celebrating uh, five young men today. And I must add that it has indeed been a pleasure uh, along that journey. It has not been a perfect journey, but no journey is. So we are really thankful for having an opportunity to develop, pour into, and work with these young men as they become proud Monroe uh, alumni and looking forward to playing football at the next level at their respective educational institutions. So at this time, as Coach Heron comes to the stage to get our program moving, I want to share with you that we are very proud of you. We are pleased with your effort. <clears throat> and we're looking forward to bigger and better things at the next level. Thank you. Good morning. Today is a big day, not just for me, but for Monroe High School and these student athletes who have given countless hours of their time, blood, sweat, tears, dedication to this program. And again, I just want to say thank you to you guys for all your hard work and everything you guys have done to help move this program forward and get us going in the right direction. I sincerely thank you. We're going to get it going with our player signings. First player that we're gonna call up to the stage to make a decision and to sign is probably one of the more decorated athletes that I've had the privilege of coaching. <clears throat> he is a recruit Georgia All-State selection, first team. He also, first team All-Region. Uh, he led our classification, AAA, and receiving yards at the end of the season with 1,005 yards, had 11 touchdown catches. Uh, we've got to call him up right now. I think the kids call him Fox Five. So we've got to call up, call up Mr. Andrico Jackson. Yeah. And his First, I'd like to give my thanks to God, my family, um, my brother, my teammates. I love y'all, boy. Y'all boy, get a state in that show. With that be said, I will be going to Thorn Cook.
So just a little bit about what Andrico is doing. Andrico is signing a national letter of intent um, to Bethel Cookman College. It has the details of the scholarship. It has the parameters of the scholarship as far as what he can and cannot do, what will make the scholarship null and void. And it also has details on which he has to abide by at the school. So it's a very detailed document.
best athlete coming up to sign and make his decision. This is a kid who says and does all of the right things. This kid is one of those guys that you don't think of as a leader, but he's one of the biggest leaders on our team. And I don't even know if he realizes that. He always has an encouraging word. Um, he's always you know, bringing his teammates up. He's one of our most active kids in our group chat. Uh, he's always posting things for our kids to learn and to look at and to grow from. Um, and so, you know, when we did our award ceremony, me and the coaches, uh, we kind of went back and forth on who we were gonna give our leadership award to. And for this kid, it was kind of a no-brainer just because of what he's done with the program and all he's done with our team so far. And so we want to bring him up, let him tell you guys of his decision. He and his family, his family, uh, mom and dad will accompany him on the stage, Mr. Christian Elder. Really proud of Christian and what he was able to accomplish in a short time here with the program. Our next athlete coming up to make his decision is probably one of the hardest working athletes I've ever had the privilege of coaching. Um, whenever we spoke to this coach about his recruitment, he told him that it'll be a tough journey. Uh, he told him that, you know, coming to the school that he's coming to, it's a grind. And one thing I was able to say to this coach with all confidence is this kid is coming to outwork everybody you have in your program. So coming up to let you know this decision, Two-time all-region offensive lineman, Mr. Demetra Price Jr. Thank you guys. 
pushing me every day. I want to thank my mom for I want to be her. I want to thank teammates for pushing me. So coming up to let you know of this decision is Mr. Katarian Harris.
Before we close it out, I would like to ask all of the signees to come back to stage for me. Along with, along with our coaches that are here, Coach Sidney Powell, our defensive coordinator, Coach Derek Green, our offensive coordinator, Coach Chatavius Jones, our tight ends coach, Coach Chatavius Dance, our offensive line coach, Coach Nick, who coaches pretty much everything. Persevere through everything. Know that you're going to be faced with adversity and challenges. No matter what you're faced with, know that you can't get through it. Through Christ, you can't do all things. Believe that in your heart and know that. The biggest change for a lot of you guys is you're going from big fish, small pond to not going back to small fish, big pond. And you got to make your way. So don't get discouraged because you're back at the bottom of the totem pole at the college level. Because that's what it's going to be like, the mission. you got to earn your key. Go with the mindset that I'm going to outwork everybody. Know that every time you rest or every time that you relax, there's somebody who's working to get better. If you have a spot, there's somebody working to get your spot. So the grind never stops. Enjoy this day. Enjoy this moment. This is something to cherish. But know that the real work begins tomorrow. Coaches, again, thank you guys for uh, helping me and assisting me along the way and instilling what we have through this program into these kids. Again, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. As we close out our program, we want to uh, make sure that we are on the same page with what this day is all about. It's about a celebration. So let's celebrate these student athletes one more time. Congratulations. And please go on really good and thanking these parents for supporting our work here. Thank you, parents. Parents, stand up and give yourself a bow, please. Parents, please stand and give a bow. We really appreciate you for lending us your children and supporting us and supporting our program throughout the years. Thank you. You may be seated. Another very important message, young people, that we have to understand here, that today is Stretch, Rico, Christian, Red, and DeMontreal. Tomorrow, it may very well be one of you. Just be reminded that if you come to work every day at Morrow High School, on and off the field, you have a place on this stage. You have a place on the stage. Now, I want you to understand that on and off the field, you will have a place on the stage. So remember to come to work every day, grind every day, be coachable, put in work every single day as if you're trying to accomplish the goal that you've set. Parents, thank you again. Coaches, we really appreciate you. I will always protect my character and the integrity of my team. I am a student of the game, 
and I am confident in what I know. I practice with purpose and I play the game to win. Thank you all. Uh, today was a huge day, a signing day for these student athletes. Uh, to have five out of my eight seniors uh, sign to go to college is, is huge for these kids. Two Division I FCS kids and three JUCO kids. I'm excited about their futures. I'm excited about uh, what's happening for Monroe High School. I'm excited about our guys getting opportunities that they otherwise wouldn't get. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to continue to push our guys, our coaches, our athletes, our administration, our teachers. Uh, we love what we're doing. We do it for our kids. And we love pushing these guys out to colleges and getting them opportunities to go beyond high school. Uh, when I first got here, a lot of student athletes told me, you know, Coach, I just I want to play football or I want to get out of Albany. And so I took that as my mission to help these kids get those opportunities by reaching out to different schools, making sure that they get the film that they need in order to be uh, evaluated by these different college coaches. So I'm excited about it, and we're going to continue to do great work here at Monroe High School.